as we all know in this country, there are black people out there who are faking racism, faking discrimination, pretending that they have been discriminated against, and it is absolutely not true. For an example, the Bridgeport Police Department, one black ex-cop resigned after being caught faking a white power letter threatening himself. The British Post Police Department was investigated for discrimination back in 1983. This is amazing stuff. James, good morning, sir. Welcome back to the show. Good morning, Jesse. Thanks for having me on again. Yes, sir. Tell, explain this situation with this fake letter. All right. Um, well, it made national news, even made it all the way to international news. I guess um, uh, a black police officer who was acquitted of uh, brutality charges, um, two white police officers actually went to prison uh, after they pleaded guilty on supposed brutality charges. And the third officer, who was black, was acquitted, and he did the same exact thing as the other officers. So. Um, there were claims that the, some white police officer circulated a racist letter uh, threatening the life of the uh, black police officer, Clive Higgins, who was acquitted. It, there was a, a major investigation called by the Black Guardians, uh, a Bridgeport Police Advocacy, Advocacy Group, which every major police department has who has black officers. New York City has the same thing, guardians. That's terrible. I'll get into that, I'll get into that a little later. Yeah. Uh, but um, so basically the NAACP got involved. I think Al Sharpton was supposed to show up, that clown. Uh, and then you got shyster lawyers that were sitting there. I think it was in front of CNN, national TV, and they're saying that, you know, a black police officer was threatened by white police officers and they were, you know, basically, basically blaming, blaming the whole department for racism. Well, they found out after an investigation that it was a black police officer who wrote the letter, and he was encouraged by the president of the Guardians, a <laughs> lieutenant on the police department. Amazing. Absolutely. And why did they put him, or both of them, in jail after finding this out? Well, that's a damn good question, Jesse. Actually, the police officer who wrote the letter, Clive Higgins, a black police officer, resigned, uh, and he was placed under arrest when he uh, confessed to writing this letter. Uh, I don't think they charged him with the right charge. I think it was second degree falsely reporting an incident. Uh, but the lieutenant who coerced the black police officer to write the letter was put on administrative leave uh, but there is going to be more coming on and there is going to be a trial, I believe. But um, this, this hits home and uh, it's my department and it's not bad enough that you got to have a black group called the Guardians that gives these black police officers an extra layer of protection. Uh, they already have the union. All police officers have the union, Jesse. Yes. But the Guardians give them an extra layer. They have lawyers. They have the NAACP. They have the SPLC on their side sometimes. And then they also have federal government eager to make judgments based on dubious claims of racism, which is all it is. It's all dubious. Why do the white officers allow this to happen? Why not? I mean, if they're going to have a black guardian, and we're going to get to that in a minute, or they have all this stuff going on from the blacks in police departments around the country, why do white officers allow this to happen? That's a good question. We have no voice, Jesse. White cops have been pushed aside for minorities and women since the beginning of all this uh, affirmative action. Uh, white officers who score higher on the test to become police officers are actually pushed back so that they can get minorities on the job who score less than the white officers. And a lot of the white officers end up not taking the job because they have to work. So it may take two or three years sometimes to get on the job, and then they're pushed aside for minorities. And this doesn't make them happy enough. Then they got to make face, fake claims of racism. And so uh, will, will these two people, uh, this black police officer who fake this white racist incident or letter, uh, and his supervisor, or whomever it was, 
Will they both go to jail, you think? I mean, this happened back in February, right? Right. Uh, honestly, they should do some jail time for this. I think the lieutenant, I mean, this guy, a lieutenant, he's, he's president of the Black Guardians. He, he's a lieutenant making a great paycheck. He's, he had a high position on the job. Um, I think they should. I think they should do time for this because they're faking. You know, Jesse, look what's going on. We got Black Lives Matter. We got the whole world against white cops. Yeah. And these guys are framing white police officers behind the lines. They're supposed to be our brothers in blue. Well, they're not. Anybody who's a member of these extracurricular groups like the Black Guardians and the National Black Police Association, these guys are not the brothers of white police officers anymore. I am very upset that they would fake this, and who knows how many times this has been done. That's right. I have said that racism does not exist. It has never existed. It is an illusion. And so white people and white officers will have to notice what is causing them to not be more out front or up front about this lie about racism while they going along with it? Uh, well, I don't I, I think we all been sort of brainwashed into just accepting what's going on. And here's another thing. I, I'm not brainwashed, but but I think everybody just accepts it because you're white. You can't say anything. And good luck trying to get uh, a lawyer to file a claim against uh, for a white officer against racism. You know, you can do it, but you got to have overwhelming uh, reasons and evidence. And uh, a lot of lawyers don't take these cases because they don't want to go against the against the you know the black police officers because they don't they don't think it's politically correct. So a lot of these guys don't even have a voice because nobody will even take the case. And um, not just that, but you look at how how they covered the story when they thought it was a white officer all over the world. Oh, there's a yeah. terrible racist bunch of white cops out there. But now I know some of the papers have covered it, but I don't know. Has it been on CNN? Has it been on MSNBC? Have they covered it nationally and, and you know, and, and said that it's a terrible hate crime that these blacks did? I mean, really, it is a hate crime. I mean, you're you're bringing all this scrutiny on a department that's already has a lot of a lot of trouble, a trouble in it. You know, it's like a high crime city. It's 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 economically in trouble, and uh, this is the last thing they need. But why yeah. do cops put up with it? I don't know, Jesse. We're we're used to we're used to putting up with a lot, but I think it's getting to the point where we're not going to put up with it for too much longer. And I think the white officers who were involved in this, as far as being, you know, uh, you know, they were pointing in the direction of certain officers. I think they should file a lawsuit against not only the officers, but the 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 uh, organization of the Black Guardians. They, they should sue them in court, and they should also sue the department for sitting on it for seven weeks. They knew who did it for seven weeks and no action was taken, Jesse. Maybe this is why white officers don't do anything, because the higher ups, once they find out, found out it was a black officer, they didn't do anything Amazing. for seven weeks. And when you say maybe, uh, just for the record, uh, it was um, it was in the Washington Post from AP very briefly, and it was in the New York Daily News, the correction as to what went down. Um, when you say it's not going to last very long, that white, people, white officers will start doing something, what will they do? Well... You know, I, I really don't know. All I could say is that I know that there's a lot of frustration. Yeah, I have to and, be. And, and you know what? I, I advise them to file lawsuits, to get lawyers, and to go against groups like Black Police Association and Guardians because they are outdated. They are an, they are an anachronism in, 19, in 2015.